Welcome everybody to I Run, I Hike, I Camp and we are Jacqueline and Joe. And on this week's video, we're going showing you around our new motorhome. Same as your Fiat Ducati, uh, Fiat Ducati, which one it is. Um, same engine, same chassis, your dash and stuff is similar inside, but we'll show you the inside of the, the cab in a minute. Uh, first of all, we'll just take you around the outside of it to get to see a few bits and bobs, the usual stuff on the outside. So we have our fresh water tank here, which is lockable, lockable which is always good. We have our two vents here for fridge. Fridge is inside, so you're starting to kind of get a little grip of what um, maybe what the layout is inside. We also have a flue up here, or a vent here up on the top as well, so you might get to see what's at the other side of that when you get inside. Um, along here, then we have our first little storage locker, and we'll just do a quick look. So what we have here, which is just these for storing, and there's another little bit in there for something that's on the back of the camper van. Let's show you that in a minute. And here, of course, we have LPG, it's obviously enough. So we have our gas lockers here. I press the buttons. And our gas locker has two gas bottles. So it's a fine big locker for gas bottles. So we're on the back. And as I showed you the first hatch, this is what we have in the back. So we've got a three bike holder, as you can see, and there's another piece inside which makes it a four bike holder. Up on top, we have our reversing camera. So another addition to it and very handy. Um, back here then we have, just on this side, into our cassette toilet. Simple enough and self-explanatory as they say. We'll come across then and we have Elvis AutoQuest. As I said at the beginning, that's a 165, which is worth somewhere. Then we have our habitation door. No, you're not getting to see yet. Keep watching. And down here then we have our connection paint or our hookup paint. So we have our electric hookup and we have a leisure battery. So if you're really good now, we might take you inside and we'll show you the cab first and then we'll show you the whole living, living area. Now, 
for your little tour of the cab area. The keys for the ignition. Simple enough. Our steering wheel is just our steering wheel. We don't have any multi-functions on the steering wheel. On the mirrors, we have electric mirrors or yeah, electric mirrors, electric windows. We've five-speed gearbox, wipers, lights, the usual thing if you want to call it, and your a few functions for the heating of your your windscreen. Lock of the door, your fans, radio, you have a cigarette light and socket here. Now if anyone might know or might have an idea as far as we're actually thinking of changing these up here. These two here we're actually thinking of maybe changing these to um, two USBs for just charging phones and stuff when we're travelling around. And we're also looking at maybe changing up the radio. So we're probably looking at something going to some sort of an upgrade of a multimedia pack. Um, any suggestions if you could write them in the comments below please. Um, just to change up maybe something on that'll go more connected Bluetooth for sat, uh, sat nav and stuff like that because obviously we're looking at doing a lot of traveling at some stage so we need to know where we're going like so if anyone has any suggestions where they could send us to get a sat nav not where you want us to go but where you can send us there what su suggestions on a sat nav multimedia pack great the other thing we were just discussing as well we have just the one cup holder we'd like to get two coffee cup holders so if anyone has suggestions maybe on something that might fit on here and the same on the other side it would be brilliant as well if anyone knows of any ideas or, or links or websites or anything like that that could be best to get and the other thing we have here then is our reversing camera so which is handy right now let's start it up so at the moment it's just it's obviously it's very bright today and uh, the sun is just shining so it's a little bit grey in itself but it just shows down to where the bike holder is on the back and when you're reversing stuff it's handy when you're backing into spaces there for cars or stuff that might be behind your walls or things like that it's handy so other than that the cab is a typical cab there's no major changes in that now we'll take you back to the habitation area So uh, my job is to show you on the inside. So first of all, I want to show you where I sit. Um, so this is um, and the cab. What I love is the two captain chairs, and they swivel, so it opens up everything here at at the the dinette area, just like that. So it gives us lots of space and lots of room to be able to. Uh, to chat and talk with people and everything else. So up here we have lots and lots of storage. So we have the storage over the cab. So we have curtains or like the blinds actually that uh, we have here for the windscreen and for the two side windows. We might show you that in a later video. Um, but that's great, that's really handy. Here, this side, we have more storage. Um, Joe kind of puts his jumpers and his jackets there and that kind of thing. And on this side, I have my storage. And just at the moment, I kind of have my camera gear and that kind of thing in it for today. We have lots of storage area over um, the dinette area. So there's four um, great um, um, storage areas here. And we actually have still all the original um, booklets and everything else for the camper van. So that's really, that's really, really helpful. So, and um, one thing actually, um, if anybody can help me out is I want to get um, like little baskets so that I could place into these storage areas um, so that it would hold things nice and easily rather than things kind of slipping out. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'd really appreciate it. Um, same with this side. We don't really have a whole lot in it just yet. I have to kind of furnish it out a bit. Um, so then down here, so this folds out into um, quite a large double bed actually. So our table, um, well, um, what's the word? Drop down. Oh yeah. So our table will drop down. Um, there's a little section under there that it would hold on to, and it opens out this for um, a double bed. It is a four berth, um, and it carries four people. So as well as two captains, we also have. Um, two sets of seatbelts 
for our passengers, which is really handy. What I love about the dinette area is that um, we have the table, but that we can extend the table. I'll do it this way. So there's already room for like four people around the table, but this kind of extends it to even further. And as well as that, this um, will give me a great opportunity to be able to work um, from here. Uh, so it'll give us that little bit more room. Underneath here, we have more storage, but also this is where um, the batteries are. Um, so fuses, uh, fuse board, Switch. trip switches. Switch. Uh, what's that? That's the inverter then. Inverter. That's Obviously, I don't know anything about this side of it. Yeah, yeah, so just in so. case anyone's wondering, it's a 1000 watt inverter. Um, before we got the motor home, and I think even before the last man that had it, I think there was, well he said yeah, there was solar panels on the roof, so it's possibly something that we will also look at as well, we'll have to check out. I think we need to learn a bit more about the electrical side of things and how power and stuff works like that, but it's probably something that we would probably put on again, I'd say. Yeah. At a later date again, something else, another add-on. Um, on either side. Uh, we have windows, so we have a uh, mosquito net and we have blackout blinds. Uh, when we bought the motorhome first, um, it did have curtains on it and I might have a little video that I can put in um, to show you. Um, personally, I took them off because I prefer to just kind of have the window open like that. On top, uh, we have um, a sunlight um, and we have a blackout blind. And today it's lovely inside out there. And we also have a mosquito net. Oops. As well. So our habitation door. Um, so you saw me opening up and down the step here. Um, and then we have... What are they? That's your Truma water heating system. So you have for your hot water and your heating within the habitation area. Then this is your space heater, uh, which is your temperature controls and your fan controls. And then you have your full control, which gives you your, all your water on the top. You have your lights, it's either auxiliary or vehicle. It's all pretty basic, mm -hmm. basic enough to, to explain. So that's your master switch that knocks on everything. So you'll have your battery uh, your battery voltage and all that is up on that and uh, that's just your water pump and your awning light outside so mm. basic simple enough control yeah so there's lots and lots of these little lights all around the motorhome so they're actually really nice i really like them and um, this side of the kitchen we have um a microwave um and it's well i have a tea towel there too um to protect the plate. So um, microwave, um, which is really, really clean. It's, it's new. It's new. Um, we also have storage here for all of our dishes, that kind of thing. Another thing, actually, if anybody can recommend, I want to get um, a nice um, spice rack or herb rack um, so that I can have my herbs and stuff like that. So if somebody could recommend something that they use, that would be excellent. Thank you. Um, so tap. Um, sink and then here we have a three hob cooker and a hot plate um, so it's gas obviously as you can see and also down here this is the grill um, again everything is just like new um, it's barely been used at all and here we have an oven Um, on these down here we have this is just storage and also for turning off and on our gas and is the water in there so that's for uh, the three gas pints is for the fridge the heating system and onto the 
the cooker as well. Um, here again, lots of little press space, little drawer spaces, and this is our cooker. Or this, sorry, this is our fridge. And we have a little buns for later for our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's a three-way fridge. So it works on battery, gas, and um, mains. and the mains. Yeah, um, and it's a domestic. Yeah, good size fridge. Yeah, great size fridge actually. We'll have lots of space. Um, so um, good um, power points there as well. And then that brings us into uh, the bedroom area. Firstly, we have um, a great size wardrobe. So that's, uh, yeah, so lots and lots of space in that wardrobe. It's fantastic. And a little drawer underneath, which is great. So this brings us then to the bedroom area. And this is um, a French bed layout. So underneath the French bed, um, this is where we have the garage. And this is where a lot of our storage is. So all my cushions are gonna go flying now. So yeah, so we have lots of stuff underneath here and uh, we hope not to travel. Uh, we'll, I like to travel as light as possible. So, so this small garage is actually, you know, perfect. It's right up our street. Uh, so we have also already bought um, a hose, a fresh water hose. Um, and we have our table for outside, our picnic table. And then we just have heaters and stuff like that um, underneath here. So like there's lots of space underneath. Um, and I have blankets and that kind of thing. So yeah, so I'm really thrilled with, with um, that storage. Um, and here, going into the bedroom area, there's a little um, screen for privacy, which I think is really cute. And click into it, yeah. Yeah, click in there. It's perfect. It's a really cute little thing. On this side, we have a mirror just behind the, the wardrobe and also another little press. And then this brings us in to our bathroom. Um, this is the screen. Um, so our shower and the shower head. And that kind of moves, so that's really, really handy. Uh, better not turn that on, get a squirt of water. Um, um, also, what I really like about this is it has um, the pre -own, uh, the owners beforehand had put this little railing up here as well. So this is going to be really handy for like drying like coats or wet towels or whatever. So that'll be really handy to hang things up. And then as I close, open our screens again, that brings us back to the toilet. So the toilet swivels. So that gives you a little bit more room for using the shower, using the toilet. And um, that's your flush. And this is, I think that's really cute, is how the sink um, kind of closes back and opens out as you need it. And the tap goes up and down. It really amazes me how people think of how to do these things. Um, also here we have the little uh, vanity press, which is cute. We can put everything in here. Here to hang our clothes, mirror here, and uh, yeah, and that's it. I'm really, really delighted that we have a shower and toilet in our new motor van, motor home compared to when we had Connie, we didn't have any toilet or shower. So this is gonna be a really nice change. And the pre-owners has little hooks there for hanging whatever you want. Oh. Back to you, Joe. Perfect. <laughs> so that kind of brings us to a close of um, Inside Our Motorhome. I hope you really enjoyed it.
Yeah, so you have to stay tuned, keep watching. Um, obviously, like you're going to have comments today, and we'll have a few more upgrades and stuff in the future. But they're not the really important stuff. It's the travels that we're going to have and where we're going to head to, the things we're going to do. So stay tuned and like and subscribe. Exactly. Click <laughs> that bell. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.